to you. All right, thanks, Jane. And all new tonight, a struggling high school is about to close its doors after losing more than half of its students. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat live in Highland Park, where parents are blaming the city tonight. Simon. Glenda and Heather, tonight we're hearing from heartbroken parents and students who simply are not buying what the emergency manager is selling. In the heart of Highland Park, there's a sense of emptiness. People have lost their optimism, and now they're losing their high school. It's a sad thing. They're causing us to lose our city. They're not trying. Carolyn Stevens is a graduate. She credits Highland Park schools with helping her realize her own dreams in the nursing field. I had a lot of hands-on training, which um, uh, led me into the life that I'm living today. But the next generation will have a very different path. They won't even be here to open up a time capsule placed at the former high school building that already closed its doors. Today, the emergency manager announcing 160 remaining students at Highland Park Renaissance Academy, already once moved, are once again forced to go elsewhere. What does it do to learning? I think it affects learning because it's like you're moving to different schools and different learning environments. It seems like they're closing every school around here. We took to the streets today to get the real story. Across from busted windows and boarded up homes, this place is now on borrowed time, set to close June 22nd. High school students will be able to choose if they want to go to Detroit Public Schools or a charter school or a neighboring school district. Staff members will also be able to transfer to other schools. That's crazy. That's totally crazy, man. I don't know what the problem is. The emergency manager, he should be focusing on ed education first. We have, uh, we had around about four or five, no, around about seven or eight different schools here. And to lose all of that great asset, you know, that's uh, really hurtful. Now, students in K through 8th grade should not be affected by any of this. Meantime, the district is going to have an informational session on June 8th. All that information available on our website, WXYZ.com. Live in Highland Park, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right. Thanks so much, Simon. And